balance to the table. If you've ever wondered whether to make the jump from air cooling, or you're just curious about how it all works, you're in the right place. But we're going to explore everything from the basic science to the practical benefits, helping you decide if it's the right choice for your rig. First things first, let's break down the basics. How does liquid cooling even work? At its core, it's all about superior heat transfer. Your computer's CPU and GPU generate a ton of heat. An air cooler uses a metal heat sink and a fan to pull that heat away and blow it into your case. It works, but air isn't a great conductor of heat. Liquid cooling, on the other hand, uses a special fluid, usually a mix of distilled water and additives, which is much, much better at absorbing and moving heat. The system has a few key parts. There's a water block that sits directly on your processor. This block has a copper plate that absorbs the heat. Inside, liquid flows through tiny channels, soaking up that thermal energy. From there, tubes carry the hot liquid away to a radiator. The radiator is a lot like the one in your car. It has a large surface area with lots of thin fins. Fans attached to the radiator blow cool air across these fins, cooling the liquid down. Finally, a pump pushes the now cool liquid back to the water block to start the cycle all over again. It's a continuous, efficient loop designed to keep your components frosty. So, why go through all this trouble? The main reason is efficiency. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a topic that's incredibly important, but often overlooked until it's too late. Backing up your digital life, we've all heard the horror stories a spilled coffee, a stolen laptop, or a hard drive that just gives up one day. Suddenly, years of precious photos, important work documents, and creative projects are just gone. It's a gut-wrenching feeling, but the good news is, it's almost entirely preventable. So, stick around, because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the ultimate guide to protecting your important files. We'll cover everything you need to know to back up like a pro and gain some serious peace of mind. So, what exactly is a backup? In simple terms, it's a copy of your files stored in a separate location from the originals. This is key. Just copying a file to a different folder on the same hard drive is not a backup. If that drive fails, you lose both the original and the copy. The goal is to create redundancy, so if one copy is lost, you have another one ready to go. Think of it as digital insurance. You hope you never need it, but you'll be incredibly glad you have it if disaster strikes. Now, let's talk about what you should be backing up. The short answer. Anything you can't afford to lose. Start by thinking about your personal files. This includes your photo library, those memories from vacations, birthdays, and family gatherings. Then there are your videos, personal documents like your resume, financial records, and scanned copies of important papers like passports and birth certificates. For professionals and creatives, this list expands. Think about your work projects, client files, source code, manuscripts, 
design assets, and raw video footage. Make a list or a mental checklist of your digital treasures. Knowing what's irreplaceable is the first step to protecting it. Okay, let's dive into the most popular backup methods. The first one is using an external